ディズニー・フローズンディズニー・フローズン Not long ago in the kingdom of o r a n d e l e summer had arrived, but it was winter inside the castle where Princess Elsa and Anna were playing. Elsa had magical powers and could create things out of snow and ice. She made a snowman named Olaf. Anna was delighted. Then Elsa accidentally hurt Anna. The king and the queen rushed both girls to the mystical trolls in the mountains. The trolls cured Anna by changing her memories of Elsa's magic. They cautioned that. Others would fear Elsa's power. To help her control it, Elsa's parents gave her gloves. With the castle gates closed, Elsa stayed away from Anna. She never wanted to hurt her again, but Elsa missed Anna. Anna missed Elsa. Years later, the king and queen were lost at sea. Without their parents, both princesses grow lonelier and lonelier. Soon it was time for Elsa to take over as queen. She was terrified that without her gloves, she might lose control of her powers in front of everyone. Anna, on the other hand, was excited to meet new people, especially a prince named Hans. They fell in love. Elsa gathered all her courage to take off her gloves and was, success was successfully crowned Queen of Arendelle. With her gloves back on, Elsa proudly stood before her people. But when Anna told Elsa that she wanted to marry Hans, Elsa forbade him, forbade it. How could Anna want to marry a man she had only just met? Frustrated, Anna tried to stop her sister and accidentally pulled off one glove. Without her glove, And upset with Anna. Elsa accidentally exposed her secret powers. Ice and snow blasted from her hand, covering the kingdom. Fearing she might hurt someone and ruin her kingdom, Elsa fled. Anna thought it was her fault Elsa's powers had been revealed. She rushed off to find her sister. She hired a mountain man named Christoph to be her guide. In time, Anna and Christoph found a snowman named Olaf. He was alive. Anna remembered him, and the good times she had shared with her sister, Olaf, led the way to Elsa. Elsa was enjoying her time alone. Now she was free to create whatever she wanted. She built an ice palace. Anna begged Elsa to go home to thaw her frozen kingdom, but Elsa feared she couldn't control her powers. Angry and afraid, Elsa Accidentally cast the magic freezing spell on her little sister and then created a giant snowman. Anna and Christoph ran, Olaf ran too.
Anna's hair began to turn white. Christoph led her to the trolls for help. The trolls advised, only an act of true love can thaw a frozen head. Anna needed hands for a true love's kiss. Quickly, Christoph and Anna headed back to Arendelle. When Anna found Hans, he refused to kiss her. His plan all along had been to take over the kingdom. Anna was crushed. Anna realized that Christoph loved her. She needed all her strength to find him. Meanwhile, Elisa had returned to Arendelle to save her kingdom, but now she was in terrible danger. When Anna saw Hans, she knew what she had to do. Anna saved Elisa. It was an act of true love, true love between two sisters. Soon the ice melted. And Anna realized she was in love with Christoph. As for Elsa, she became a queen again, a good queen who had learned from her sister that love was the key to controlling her powers. <laughs>